Okay, I'm back. Um, so I'm making lip balm, cherry flavor. Um, if you've never made lip balms, the flavor is the food, food flavor. Uh, most of the, like bramble berry or any place like that that you order your supplies, um, they carry the flavoring for that you would use for lip balms and I am spilling over here let me just see if I can fix this These fill really fast and I can't talk and pour at the same time. I've established that. Well, Um, this is just moisturizing, like ultra moisturizing kind of a lip balm. Um, I do make the tea tree healing balm, lip balm, but I'm all out of cherry and cherry is a big favorite. I usually make mint chocolate, raspberry, cherry, um, uh, let's see, uh, the tea tree of course, and um, I think that's it. And I am all out of cherry, so if you have a pipette, I'm all out of pipettes too, but if you have a pipette, that might work better than this Pyrex um, measuring cup. I'm all out of pipettes. If it sets up on you too fast, you can go and remelt it. 50% power in your microwave. And cut the power down. And um, that's about it. These don't take very long to make. They don't take very long to set up. And. I don't know. They're easy to make. Labeling, to me, labeling was the hardest part. Uh, but I print all my own labels. So to me, that's always the hardest thing to figure out. Anyway, so that is it. I'm going to go melt the little bit that I have left here. And um, so that's it. Basically, I will put the recipe down below and um, or you can just buy what I used to do for the longest time back four or five years ago is uh, I just bought the lip balm um, already made and then you can add your aloe to it or your vitamin E or or you know whatever you want to add to it. So that's what I used to do and that works good too and a lot of um, a lot of the places make excellent um, bases, uh, uh, you know, concentrate bases, and all you have to do is um, melt it so and add your ingredients. So you can do that too. Okay, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, see you when I see you.